Hi everyone, Shabby here. Welcome back to Shabby Geek. So, we're going to do toys tonight and we're going to have a look at some of the toys that Shabby collects. Now, one of the things and one of the main things that I collect is Black Series. So as you all know, my biggest thing is Black Series. Oh, I'm a massive fan of Black Series. <laughs> They're absolutely amazing. I absolutely love them to pieces. But Black Series, for the past year or so, and you've heard the shabby rants, you know, on, on the Pallet Boys and so forth, it's just getting a bit frustrating. So last year I made a, a point to collect something else. I, you know, I'm, I'm a positive person. I like to stay happy and positive in this in this collection world, if you will. So, I decided to collect the Masters of the Universe Origins line. And I absolutely love this new He-Man line. I mean, I've never ever felt, or a toy has not made me feel like a kid, like this line in absolutely years. The colours of them, the quality of them, the price of them. I mean, it's an absolute great line to collect and I will continue collecting the Masters of the Universe. Ghostbusters, when they came out, the Plasma series, I absolutely love them. I mean, that was a great line too, and the two girls that came with it. And I know there was Louis Tully, but I didn't get him. But I really enjoyed the Ghostbusters. And what I'm trying to say is, these other toys kept me going when I couldn't find Black Series. Thankfully, we've got people in our community that will help each other out with all these toys, especially Black Series. I would say, for the past couple of months, my Black Series collecting wouldn't be anything without collectors helping each other out and finding each other and sending each other and finding them in stores and shipping them to you. So you should all have, you know, be proud of yourselves for that. So the Black Series, I'll always collect. It will always be number one, but it's nice to collect other things. But there was one thing I showed a couple of days ago and it was this. The 86 Transformers Hot Rod. It's a studio series. I fell in love with these last year. When I first saw them, I think it was Toy Fair that they said they were bringing this 86 line out. I, it's something else to collect and I absolutely fell in love with them. I mean, it was a super awesome geek show. And Tez Rowland. Two lads on the Pallet Boys that collect Transformers. And I always liked their videos on them or I always liked their pictures of them, you know. And, and I did have a couple as a kid. I remember having Skywalk was obviously my favourite. You've heard me say that before. And I loved Optimus Prime. And we had Ultra Magnus. And we had the one that, that was a shuttle and a train. I can't remember his name. But I absolutely loved him. But I had no interest in collecting him as an adult. John Baldry sent me Shockwave. And when I got him and I opened him, the joke was I don't open stuff. So when I opened this one, I absolutely loved it. I thought, what a great figure. So... I decided when the Transformers 86 line comes out and I find it in stores, I'll start to collect them. So here's my first one. And what we're going to do, which is a rarity on Shabby's, is we're going to open this up and have a look at it. So the Super Awesome Geek Show got jazz. And I watched his video and he he absolutely loved it. And he, you know, he said, I commented and he said, when are you going to open this one? So I'm going to open it and have a look at it. I know it's weird opening toys, but I'll have a go. Now, I remember as well on his video, you can't open these from the bottom. You've got to open them from the top. So let's just get it open and have a look. So 
So, there it is. Hot Rod. Oh, look at that bad boy. He's awesome. Unbelievable. He's only little, but oh, I absolutely love it. Wow. It's unbelievable. I found this thing as well, what you do with his head. And I'll show you that on a, another video. He's got like these little visors. Here, here's a video. Watch this as well. Have you noticed, right? You've got his head right here. And if you lift it up, like that, you can get in frame suit, yeah? And then you pull this visor out. It looks like that. How dandy. How cool is that? But yeah, look at him. He's absolutely fantastic. What a great set. It has this piece of cardboard as well that comes out. So you can make my, like a... Uh, so you can make like a diorama. How about that? Super cool. Oh, I'm glad I opened it now. <laughs> so it comes with some accessories. It comes with the Matrix of Power, which is awesome. And that's the blast that goes on the Matrix of Power, which is a pretty cool touch. It's got some blasters. Nice. And I can't remember this. Was this like a, a saw that goes on his hand? Yeah, it was. So, he's got all them. Now, I was reading online about this, and it says this is the most complex <laughs> transformer to actually change, apparently. Apparently, it's got like 30 um, different... I don't know how you say it, what points to change. I don't know. But apparently, it's really hard to, to change. So, I tried it <laughs> before, and I couldn't do it at all. I, I Honestly, I had to get my kids involved. I'm an absolute nightmare. Do you remember the video... With the, what is it? The Emphys Nest Bike, and I couldn't do that either. Oh, I'm so useless. So what I'm going to do is go off camera, change it, and I'll be back in a minute. So, after much work, <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable how long that took. I mean, this blooming instruction pad, look at it. It's like a novel. Wait, you see how, how many parts to change there is on that? But anyway, here he is, Hot Rod in his automobile mode. Oh, he looks awesome. It looks exactly the same as what it did when we were kids. Like the 86 movie. Wow. I never thought I'd get this excited over Transformers. It's fantastic. Anyway, let's see what he looks like with his accessories. <laughs> Put his blasters on there. Blaster on there, and I saw a picture where he saw thing fit on top. Let's have a look. <gasps> wow, look at that bad boy! Awesome, I love it. Woohoo! <laughs> Can't believe it. How cool. I, I mean, I knew I'd like it. I didn't know I'd like it this much. Unbelievable. $30, though. It's a bit price. Well, is it pricey? I don't know. I don't buy Transformers, you see. So it's $30 good. You leave a, a comment for me and tell me if that's good. But I love it. I'm going to definitely get some more. Definitely. Anyway, let's change it back. So, there you have it. Back in robot mode. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. We'll put him in his diorama with his matrix of power. Very nice. 
So yeah, I'll pick these up when I can. Every time I see one, I'll I'll have a look and see what there is. I fancy that jazz that John's got. And I heard that the um who else is out? The 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 dinosaur Grimlock, that looks pretty cool too. Well, as soon as I find him, we'll get him in the Shabby Geek Cave. Anyway, there is my kind of review of Hot Rod from the 86 Transformers Studio series. So, there you have it. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. See you later! Suki! What? You're gonna have to help us out with this, man. It's a bloody nightmare!